Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Now, a couple of days back, I got a call from Triple One Car saying they had a very exciting car for me and if I would like to come and check it out. Well, I said yes, I would love to do that and check this out. What they had was this, a 991 Porsche 991 Turbo S. Now, this is a 2018 Porsche 911, but what is more, uh, fascinating is the color look at this it's a miami blue color and this is pretty much i think one on one of one out here in the uae and it's exclusively out here with triple one cars and i'll be posting a link to this car also because this car is on sale and it's just been listed and you should pretty much check this out because it's got low mileage and it's got a fantastic color and pretty much brand new but in today's video i'm going to be taking you all around into a detailed tour about its exterior and also the interior so starting off from the front we have this pretty much you know iconic this Porsche design where you have the 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 latest additions in terms of the DRLs which are these two uh, LED DRLs and also a huge headlight cluster with with god knows so much complicated uh, headlight cluster I mean it's pretty much made out of LED but here's more what's more interesting uh, the key now there is a a boot in the front because obviously this is a mid engine car so the engine is in the back and the storage is in the front but for that you have a trunk what you call as which is the trunk and because it's in the front so it's called as the front so let me open and show you that so uh, so it's got decent amount of storage out here and you can pretty much put like one big bag and also a small bag or otherwise it's it's pretty enough for daily usage and uh, check out Porsche badging everywhere pretty much everywhere they put like you know Porsche to remind you how iconic the brand is and to make sure that you are always reminded of the car so let's let's go around and uh, start seeing other bits and there are a few more um, aerodynamic bits at the bottom where you would find the, the grill out here and also inside the grill there are some more uh, aerodynamic flow flow patterns out here which actually help for the radiators so there are two radiators in the front and also a couple of them in the back so we we'll start checking that out also now in the side you get 20 inch alloy rims you can also get the carbon fiber rims uh, uh, but this comes with the standard 20 inch alloy rims along with the center Porsche wheel nut and you get the ceramic disc brake and they are huge I mean look at that and you get the nice yellow caliper which is really distinct considering that you have the blue color and on that you have the yellow brake calipers and that looks really cool i mean like wow this color is really really nice when you take it out in the sunlight and check it out and you have the long doors out here and these mirrors are non-power foldable so uh, you have this as an option if you want to upgrade to the power foldable mirrors you can do that also but this comes as a standard non-power foldable there is also a sunroof and sunroof is pretty big when you sit inside i will be showing you that now there is one more thing which is there are two scoops on the side of the 911 and these scoops are actually aerodynamically functional and they channel in more air for the engine as an input and they are on both the sides so they they, they offer extra amount of uh, air for the engine because this is a performance car and you do need a lot of air and uh, these uh, these vents are the only ways you can channel more air into the system coming to the back you have a big big spoiler and this is electronically controllable now you can also lower or raise the spoiler but usually it just sits down but only when you are in the sport or the sport plus mode it will generally rise up there are badgings out here Porsche then 911 turbo s badging uh, the tail lights are again LED tail lights and at the bottom you would find quad exhaust system both two on both the sides but what is even more interesting is that look at this there is no gap between the tailpipes and the actual exhaust like there is literally nothing just in the center there is 
a grill and you have fans out here so the fans are actually used for additional cooling and these coops are actually there to channel more air into the system as i said like because it's a mid-engine car so the engine is in the back so it needs more air and that's the only way they can get more air into the system so the engine is buried deep down out there so as a result of that there is a low center of gravity which is what makes this 911 the perfect sports car but let me show you all how to see the engine because literally you cannot see anything but these two fans and that's about it and then you can put your washer fluids and the oil top up that you can do and these two fans out here are just that's it which is helping in the cooling so this this 911 turbo comes with a 3.8 liter six cylinder straight six engine which is a turbocharge and that produces 580 brake horsepower and it's got a seven speed dual clutch gearbox now that's that's those numbers are fascinating but even more fascinating is the top speed which is 205 miles per hour now step inside and you have quality materials pretty much everywhere there is not a single bit where you would find a cheap plastic or anything so let me start off with how much material and what quality of material has been used so you have alcantara everywhere on the steering wheel on the seats the seats are actually made out of leather and alcantara and also the white stitching and with this Porsche logo that is inscribed on the seat itself looks really quality and then there is carbon fiber trims every single place so do you, if i start with the door you again get a mixture of leather and the carbon fiber everywhere and the aluminum handle which has been made so in the dashboard you would get a pretty simple sort of look so there is a, a rev counter there is speedometer there are different dials and then there is this one screen on your right side where you can just change and see all the different uh, settings like your uh, if you are doing a track day you can see the g sensor you can also see your track times you can also see the maps you can also see the media so all of that information is displayed out here and then in the in a very posh way you would always see the fuel counter as divided into four by four two by four and zero instead of you know zero half and one liter so so uh, not one liter but then the counter which usually goes like zero half and one so instead that they have this really opposite way of you know dealing with the whole you know information and then coming to the steering wheel on your right side you have all the controls to change all the di uh, information in the dashboard and on your left side you would get all the infotainment controls and uh, the paddle shifters which are made out of aluminium i'm so glad this is such a quality work and it's just amazing now the steering wheel is electronically adjustable so you can do tilt and telescopic both using the the button which has been given at the bottom of the steering wheel now if you may wonder there is also a cruise control the, but the cruise control is is again like a stick which has been given on the left side at the bottom so the cruise control is an adaptive cruise control again you can set the speed and the car would just make sure to keep the maintain the distance with the cars in the front but the overall feel of the steering wheel is so good it's so nice to grip and there's a nice bit of uh, thumb rest also the whole dashboard has been made to feel it's, it's very flat so that you know whenever you are tracking this car there is no distraction in front of you also you get this iconic Porsche clock in the center which comes with pretty much every single Porsche that you buy now in order to open the trunk or the the boot in the front or the tailgate which is the door to open the engine there are buttons given in the, the side door frames itself so there are two clear buttons which you press you can just open both of these and now coming to the infotainment system the infotainment system is pretty simple and easy to use but th there are all all the menu options which are laid out on the screen itself you have your uh, fm media you have phone navigation you have the maps you have the sound settings you have different apps to control the 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 car the way you interact with the car there is also 
uh, another car option to see how the the various other settings of the car like you know if you want to see your track times if you want to see the economy so coming to the connectivity you get one usb and 120 watt power socket to charge your phones and apart from that if you come to the ac control the ac controls are actually in a horizontal position instead of the vertical usual position now all that is made it's it's all cramped up so that you know to just make the dashboard very flat and so as to minimize any sort of distractions while you are driving then it's it's pretty simple straightforward but there are lots of buttons mind you like for every single feature there is a button given out here and it's a dual zone climate control system so you passenger and the driver can adjust their own uh, uh, air conditioning settings and also there are more buttons out here in the in the center console where you can change uh, a switch off or on the traction control you can switch off the the auto start uh, stop feature i know it's i mean why would you give that but there is still an auto start off and then there is also a button given to lower the, the height of the car and also if you want to lower the spoiler or raise the spoiler there is a button given for that I don't know if you can hear the 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 sound of it but yes there is the the spoiler which is being engaged at the back and then there is also the pdcc settings coming to the gear stick it's it's in the right position and it's ergonomically well placed and pretty handy again it comes with the aluminium and the alcantara now coming to the storage there is not much of storage let me be honest about that like in the door cards you wouldn't find a lot like you can't even put a very big bottle just half a liter of bottle and in the center console you have another uh, sort of armrest out here and then there is a wireless charging in the bottom so you can put your phone out here and then you can wirelessly charge and that is it and there is another usb out here in the center console also so there are two usb in that case and even the center handrest is made out of alcantara there are two cup holders and they are placed in a very sweet position i would say because it's all covered with the carbon fiber here in the dashboard and then when you press that there is a a, a cover which opens up and then you press those uh symbol which says that it's a cup holder and then there are two cup holders out here which you press and you can open them and then when you don't want you can just close them how space saving is that and also there is a, a glove box and that's pretty all right but here's the important bit there is a sunroof and it's pretty big i mean when you sit inside you would see like it's it extends all the way till the rear but it's just the normal sunroof now coming to the seats the seats are i mean 16 way adjustable there are a ton of buttons on the seat and the seat is electronically adjustable and the seats are there are four seats by the way but the two seats in the rear passenger for the rear passenger i don't know if passenger with the legs can sit into that but uh it's it's decent enough for the kids for sure but also if you have a lot of luggage you can put it in the back also and there is some bit of storage lining at the back here and there that's about it but overall the the, the quality material is pretty premium and uh, i i wish i could have gone on a drive but then this is is a car which is for sale so unfortunately i cannot drive it someday when i get a chance i will definitely get a drive review for you guys but uh, in terms of safety there are six airbags two in the front for the driver and the passenger two side airbags and two curtain airbags and also there are isofix points there is traction control there is tire pressure monitoring system there is every safety system that you would think of there is there in this car again if you want to check the listing of this car i'm going to be putting a link in the in the description you can check out where this car has been listed and make sure to just check this car out physically because you really have to check this color in person to see how good this car is anyways that is pretty much it for this video give it a thumbs up if you like this video and if you want to subscribe to my channel then click here and if you want to watch more videos then click here i shall see you in the next video bye bye and take care